All right, so as y'all know, I did make a video about um, why Sally Acorn's hair color kept changing, and then the next day, boom, I just disappeared. But I'm back with another video. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys some great news. So I went on my, I went on my, um, I went on my tablet, and did an online playing of Sonic 3 and Knuckles as Sally Acorn with Tails by my side, and I tried Sally Acorn by herself. Now, some of it was pretty difficult to do. I was still working with the controls of how Sally Acorn would work in the game. But thankfully enough, I got used to it. You know, I realized how she shoots and stuff. Um, right now, my footage is me just playing as Tails in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So right now, while I'm talking about this, I'm playing as Tails on Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on mobile. So basically, you know, I don't really have a computer to play the Sally Acorn mods and stuff like that or... Um, I might try the Bunny Rabbit mod as well, but the Sally Corn mod is awesome. You know, I was, I was so happy to actually get an opportunity and just take a chance to play one of those mods at least. And I might try the Amy Rose mod if it's available, um, on the tablet as well, because I was so surprised when they could get Sally Acorn. I was just so happy. Because as you all know, following my channel, my thoughts on Sally Acorn has grown. You know, it grew and changed. So, my thoughts on Sally Acorn it has grown. It's changed over time. Um, it's been months when I've hated Sally Acorn, but now I've I've grown to actually love her character, but I'm not a fan of her. I keep saying this to all the people who are saying, oh, well, if you love Sally Acorn, you must be a fan of her. You can like a character and not be a fan of them. You don't have to be a fan of the character. You know, there's a reason why I'm not going on the Rally for Sally debate. I mean, some of her fans are not agreeing with this Rally for Sally debate, and they just think she should stay in the Sarium cartoon or, you know, stay in the Archie comics. Um, And there are many people who find, you know, what I say about missing conceptions when I commented on someone's post when they talked about Rally for Sally and they believe that Sally should get into the games. And I said... Sally fans are going to be pissed because obviously Sega is not going to use her pre Super Genesis way personality because obviously she's not going to be a love interest since Sally got rebooted. And I talk about these song ships all the time, you know, just express my opinion, not necessarily all the time because as you all know, I talk about different characters, you know, that I may like or dislike. You know, I talk about different ships as well. It's not only Sally and Sanami, you know. But this person, I'm not going to say who this is because I don't want them messing with me or anything. But I'm just going to tell the truth. Um, this person is going to talk about how Sega does not own post Super Genesis Wave Sally. When none of I I didn't say I didn't say anything about whether or not Sega owns post Genesis Wave Sally. I didn't say anything about that. So let's get that straight. Now. After that quick announcement that I made, not an announcement, but really me being so happy to get an opportunity to play a Sally Acorn mod because I've been waiting on that for like months after seeing this mod on YouTube. I'm like, how they, would they get that from? How did they hack? Like, that's what I first thought. But actually, they get them online and stuff like that. So I really love that. I first discovered it on Amy Long Plays, I think that's what it's called. And basically, they do, like, little gameplays of different characters in Sonic games and stuff like that. Um, there's an ad right here. But anyway, I'm also going to debunk me throwing the... Me throwing the play... Playing the victim card. You know, me using the playing the victim card. Because anyone who's playing the victim obviously does it on purpose. They don't do it by mistake. And people are saying, oh, let's just play the victim card many times. Just like, you know... I really want to explain to Spidey, but I don't think he'll ever understand, you know. And I'm glad the whole thing is over. I'm glad we, we apologize to each other. Um, and I'm glad that, you know, this whole problem and drama is, is over. You know, we can just mind our own business and g continue life. But this kind of has something to do with, you know, what happened to me. That, you know, a month ago, 
guys all know I had to delete those videos about him. And, you know, I felt guilty about those videos after he started making those videos. But I do want to debunk me playing the victim card or, you know, me being a backstabber or me just starting up drama. The thing is, I'm not trying to say, oh, your zodiac sign defines your personality. But, you know, I'm an Aries. Aries tend to not stand down for a challenge. So when the whole Spidey thing happened, you know, and also Aries don't think before they act. Okay, that's another thing. So when the whole Spidey thing happened, my first, my first, you know, payback was to make a video about him. And guys, since I'm debunking me playing the victim card, this is... One of my main reasons for why I made a video about him. And, and Spidey, please don't come after me. Please. I'm being nice. I'm not trying to expose or anything. Just like one of my other video, when I delete that video, I wasn't even mean there. So I'm not even going to be mean here. Like, like, like I was in my other videos after you made those videos about me. Because I will admit, I was kind of mean and, you know, just said things. Because I was really offended because that's how Aries are. But I remember... I briefly remember, I think it was like, I think it was around the summertime before I started school. I talked about how I believe Sun Amy is canon. Yes, I did hate Sally at that time, but I talked about why I believe Sun, Sun Amy is canon. I didn't say he had to believe it. And so he talks about, all right, I'm going to make a video exposing you on a video where I debunk Sun Amy being canon. So I was really scared at that point because I didn't even have a YouTube channel to, you know, defend myself, you know, I couldn't, I wouldn't, I didn't have that much to be like an, a YouTuber. So looking back at that, I'm like, how are you getting mad at me making a video about you? But you, <laughs> months ago, you talk about exposing me when I didn't even have a YouTube channel. You, you didn't even, you didn't think about whether or not I made a video about, video about you, but you threatened to make a video about me. So I thought about that as well. You know, and Aries never forget what people say or do to them when it really offends them. So, when that happened, I thought about that and said, you know what? Let me just make this video, you know, spread my thoughts and opinions. And I'm going to, I'm not going to lie, some of that video really did have false information about Spidey. He is a nice person. I'm not going to take back those words. No one can take back those words. He is a nice person, but there is, there are some there is some criticism I want to give him is that he he needs to stop defining people over fictional characters. That's one thing that I don't believe. I don't believe you can define someone's personality over a fictional character or what they believe. You know, I, that's why I never call someone the B word or I never call them a hypocrite over fictional characters. Yes, there was a time where I said someone could be manipulated because it was clear. It was right in your face to tell that the person was acting like a straight manipulator. Um, but I didn't mean to be mean. I was just giving the person criticism. And you guys are following my channel. You guys know I love to express my opinion. Like, you know, Aries love to let people hear their voice. They don't like to be shut down. And that's one of my pet my pet peeves. I hate to be shut down. I like to be heard. Um, and you know, Spidey, just understand, you know, I'm just giving you criticism, criticism, just understand this is just a 14 year old girl who likes to talk about song stuff. And I may, I may make the most childish mistakes, but I'm in the age where, you know, I'm learning new things. I'm learning how to communicate, communicate more. You know, you can't judge me by that. I'm not saying, Oh, I'm a little baby or something. You know, look at me. I'm a little baby, you know, I'm pretty mature, but there are some things that I just need to learn. But it's not your job to say I need to rethink about life. You know, I'm I'm going through a, enough of my life. My auntie um, was diagnosed with COVID-19. Yes, she was. And she's in quarantine right now. And because of that, my grandparents had to stay in quarantine. So when I stay at my grandma's house like that weekend, like that whole entire weekend for the rest of the Christmas break, you know, I had to follow the same steps. Now, at home, I'm not quarantined because my mom doesn't have COVID. But, you know, since my auntie's been over at my grandma's house, they, they're in quarantine, although not diagnosed with COVID-19. So, they didn't, you know, test positive, but they're just, they're just taking, they're just taking the steps. So, yeah, we're basically going through enough. I do think about life, but life doesn't, 
you need to know YouTube is a disconnection from actual life. You can't define someone's personality over YouTube. The people have shown their true colors on YouTube, but you know, I've also defined my personality on YouTube. I've told you guys I've been depressed. And this whole thing about, oh, Alyssa needs to see a therapist, that's one thing people make mistakes about me. You know, I don't need to see a therapist. Anyone who knows me, Flame knows me really well. That one person that comments on Spidey's video, when you say Flame doesn't know me, he actually does know me. We talk on Discord all the time. It's been months since we talked on Discord. And I tell him a lot about me, Beat as well. We talk on Discord and we we're great friends you know i talk about my depression issues when you know people are just to find my personality bad it's not that i have depression it's just that i get depressed in the fact when many people say false things about me and don't let my voice be heard you know areas get really affected by that so just want to let you guys know, for anyone who doesn't understand me and find me as a toxic Sun Amy fan, this is not true love heart 94 so stop, stop with this, oh, Alyssa needs to see a therapist, she's an Amy Rose fan brat, you know, that's another thing, I'm trying to brighten up the song community, I'm trying to live my life to the fullest before I die, because we know everyone is going to die one day, so there's no point in worrying about someone else's business in life, when you have your own life to take care of, no, so, you know, for anyone who thinks I need to rethink about life just because I um, express my opinion about fictional characters or I've made the most childish mistakes, you still don't you still don't tell anyone to rethink about life because you don't know my personal life, and it's a hard struggle. You know, like I said earlier, my aunt, um, my auntie was has tested positive for COVID, and I think it's because of a little boy she babysitted. And he was tested positive for COVID. And I think that's the reason why she got COVID-19. Um, so we really, we just really hope she she's okay, you know. And yeah, I, I just, you know. But for anyone, anyone who comes to me about the whole drama, Spidey will tell you. And I will tell you as well. If he um doesn't respond, he did say he would most likely re- reply. But if he doesn't respond, and you're and you wanna you well, you wanna get the answers right now, then come to me because I'm always available. Um, come to me and I will answer your question, and I will say it's all over, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm not a person who likes to start drama. I just like I just like to speak out, you know. I like. I want my voice to be heard, you know, I just, that's all I like to do, so, now, now you guys know, now you guys are getting a better understanding of who I am, and, you know, my personality, and how I am, and, you know, me being thankful to get a chance to also play that Sally mod, and meet amazing people, and also, Spidey, just another part of criticism, when you said Flame has the mentality of, of a five-year-old, that's going a little bit too far. You know, he's autistic, and autistic, autistic people do get judged a lot by the way they act and how they react, but they can't control it. They were born aut- aut- autistic. They were born highly sensitive. Um, Flame is a great friend. And for anyone who's saying, oh, he's sipping hard for his friend, or this guy doesn't know anything about this teenager. He knows a lot about me. We've known each other for months. I've started my YouTube channel. He's like, oh, I should start a YouTube channel. We became close friends. Me and Beat as well. And we talk on Discord all the time. Just like just like you, you Spidey, said about Dream Soul. Y'all talk on Discord all the time. Just like me and Flame, are all, we're great friends. We can relate a lot to stuff. We can write our own backstories for our characters. We can relate a lot. Um, which is the true, which is another definition of a great friendship when it comes to my personality. It just matches so well. Um, so, yeah, B and, B and Flame are the best friends I've ever had. Um, you know, it's just... It's just, it really makes me happy how 
you know, every day if I'm, like, sad or down and, you know, I just have two friends who will stand up for me. I'm not saying, oh, I have an abusive family because my family does love me, you know, but, you know, hard times where I can't just tell my, you know, my family, you know, all this personal stuff, some of this stuff I like to share with my friends, then I would share them with Beat or Flame, you know, because we can relate a lot, you know, and, you know, Beat would come to Beat would come to me for help and all this stuff, and I helped them out. Um, I did have a friend, but unfortunately, I feel like our friendship is one sided. Um, she stopped messaging me back. We were friends longer than Beat and Flame, but Beat and Flame are like long-lasting friendships and B even told me he doesn't even want to let me go that's a true friend right there if I'm sad or feeling down he'll respond immediately he will respond and I thank you B I really do that really makes me so happy I mean my friend was like that but now it seems like I don't know if she's ignoring me but she did say before that something was wrong with her phone. But we've known each other for a long time. We've known each other for years. Um, and sometimes friendships like that will end for some reason. But it's been months now. And she hasn't answered any of my messages. So. I'm just going to live my life. I hope that she's okay. I know she's still living. Because she's been online. Um, So. Yeah. No, I just hope her life is doing well. You know, I don't wish hate on anyone. Um, we all have responsibilities in our life and maybe, you know, maybe she's not responding because she has a lot of responsibilities in her life. But I mean, she was clear online and didn't respond. So I'm thinking, okay, just move on with my life, you know, beating flame. They're loyal friends to me. I'm not going to worry about this. So this is kind of like a lifelong lesson for anyone who's, you know, look up signs if you have a true friend or a fake friend. I'm I'm not saying she was a fake friend. Maybe she just, I don't, I really don't know what happened. But if I have a friend, I'm not letting them go. I'll stick with them to the very end. I really will. Anyway, guys, I love you all so much. Um... For anyone who's having difficulties, who doesn't have a computer, who wants to play Sonic 3 and Knuckles with Sally in it, then just look up Sally and Sonic 3 and Knuckles online. Then hopefully you'll find it. I played on my tablet. You can't, I don't think you can play it on your phone. But yeah, just look that up. Anyway, guys, I love you all so much and peace.